You think I'm playing some of my bitch? Keep fucking with me. I done told the summer bitch how to play this shit. I'm gonna say Chuck one goddamn time. Cut the bitch off. Retarded motherfuckers can do that. See, that's why you can't hire your relatives, man. Don't fuck with your family. That's my wife, cousin. I can't get rid of that motherfucker. You know, if I get rid of him, it's gonna be some shit when I get to the house. We family. Fuck family. That wife, I'm saying, black folks, the motherfucker white folks. Let me tell you something. I've been black a long time. I'm telling you like it is. So you can't say it, you know, then you scared, you can't say it. Chinese people tell black folks, we, we, you keep up shit, keep up shit. I like with some Chinese. No, don't come up here, bullshit. Don't come up. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Black folks know we keep up shit. White folks, y'all something. I'm glad to see a lot of white folks in the house. That's where it's supposed to be. No, that's the way it is. Kings of comedy start happening, y'all getting hip to us. That's a beautiful thing. See, you smile, I ain't told no goddamn joke, you ain't said shit. What do what, 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 what you say? What do you say? Fuck, you don't say shit. Say like it is, man. Long ass ride here, man. I found out my friend died. You know, when your friend died, don't you get nervous? I'm 43. When the motherfucker be dying, you gotta find out what age he is, you know what I mean? Man, 43, he how old was he? 45. I just stopped on. Was he sick? No, just dropped dead. That's fucked up. You sure be thinking about your motherfucker self. I've been having this pain in my goddamn back for a while. See, now I go to the hospital. Fuck that. My, I lost two cats. Close to me, 47, 44. See, black folks don't go to the hospital. Somebody busts them in the head with a bat. Or they have a car accident. No, every motherfucking pain come on me, I'm going to the goddamn hospital. I had a pain in my goddamn chest the other day. Gas is a motherfucker, let me tell you. Gas is a bitch. Man, that motherfucker tightened up around that motherfucker. My wife said, what's wrong? I said, come on, put your clothes on, take it to the hospital. Motherfucker, if I get a nosebleed, what's wrong with you? Put your clothes on, take me to the goddamn hospital. I was fucking last week, got a sharp pain in my goddamn left nut. She said, what's wrong? I said, wipe your ass and come on, take me to the hospital. Take me to the motherfucking hospital. I'm telling you like it is. No, man. This shit, man, I, I was in Vegas. I, I got here this morning, and I saw this white, I saw this white lady with a leash. White folks, y'all something else. No, no, y'all, y'all something fucking else, man. Y'all had a leash. On little kid, kid just running like a motherfucker. Come here, Johnny, come here. Come here, pulling him, come here, come here. I'm not pulling shit for no two or three year old. I don't, I don't negotiate with terrorists. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I get that motherfucker a look, and you better freeze like a motherfucker. I'll break your little motherfucking jaw. These little son of bitches, something else, man. These little kids tell you what to do. See, now we can punk ass parents. Parents today, we pussies. Cause we weak. We want to be friends. Motherfucker kid tell you, I ain't gonna eat that. What type of shit is that? Motherfucker don't eat. I hope you get dizzy like a motherfucker. My little niece gonna tell me I'm going on a hunger strike. Bitch, go ahead on, don't eat shit. I hope when you walk, you just fall the fuck out. Just fall. <laughs> fuck you. You gonna hurt me because you ain't eating that a bitch. Kids are motherfucker, man. Kids is bitch, man. See, when I was a kid, see, we had that, that mother made you to hit you in the motherfucking throat. Make you bite the back of your tongue and shit. You know when you ever cry when you little kid, when you cry, you have a, you holler. Then it's like a seven second pause. Then after that pause, it's a scream. You fucked up. When they hit your head,
You hurt like a motherfucker. That's how parents used to fuck you up. My mother, man, my, man, my mother, but see, parents back then too, they was fucked up too. They had some fucked up old psychological ass ways. The old fashioned southern ass shit they say to you. My mother never used to fuck over us. Cause they tell my brother them stupid shit. Go outside and find me something to whip your ass with. And those stupid son bitch be all outside looking. I was little, I said, look at this dumb motherfucker. I was about three, four years old. I said to myself, I wish my mom would tell me some stupid shit like that. That's when I started cussing. Four years old. I was about this goddamn tall. My mom said, go outside and find me a switch to whip your ass. You hear what I said? I said, I heard what the fuck you said. My brother said, don't say that, man. Fuck what she talking about. I'm not going out to find a motherfucking thing. She going to whip me, want me to do. You do your own goddamn labor. My brother said, don't say that. I said, fuck that. I'm going to get a whooping anyway. It don't make no goddamn difference. Fuck that. I'm not going to find shit. Oh, man, we all cussed our family out. But we cussed our shit out. We had class about it. When your mom said, take the garbage out. Man, fuck. Fuck. Then when she look at you, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, don't lose the beat, motherfucker. Take that garbage out. Oh, they was a bitch. Parents was a bitch back then, because they told you stupid shit. They scared the fuck out you. See, now, now, now today, everybody politically correct. Can't touch a kid, talk to the kid, negotiate. Fuck that. Man, mom and dad used to tell you shit 9 o'clock. My mother used to scare the fuck out you with shit like, when your daddy come home, I'm going to have him beat your ass. Now go on outside and play. How the fuck you gonna play in a goddamn tradition? I be in center field, the ball go past. Catch the ball, Mac. Man, fuck that goddamn ball. I'm gonna get a whip at 5 o'clock. I can't concentrate, man. Damn that goddamn ball. This some serious shit here. Man, my mama told me that shit at 8.30 in the morning. Man, my whole day was discombobulated. I was so disgusted, I didn't know what the fuck to do. Man, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. I started crying at one o'clock. I said, man, somebody call this motherfucker. I called my father at the job, he said, hello. I said, man, when you coming home, man? Come get this shit over with. This ain't number some stress. And when you're nervous, see, kids don't cry no more. You try to be strong. You know you're going to get a whooping. You try to be strong. You're strong until somebody mention that shit. The tears just come out by a motherfucker's self. You be standing there, cool, strong. What time your daddy coming in? I don't know what time that motherfucker coming in. But well, god damn it. That's how, my, that's, how, that's how my mom used to do. Come to school. When they come to school on you, and walk in the door, you be clowning, acting a motherfucking fool. And somebody, mama, walk in the door. And you look. You sit down quick as a son, bitch. And everybody in the class be whispering, Who mama that? Who, who, who mama that? Who mama that? You can always tell who motherfucker mama was. They be playing like they busy. <laughs> oh, that's your motherfucker mama. That's your mama. That. That's your motherfucker mama. That. Well, see, we grew up under whippings, but we all grew up and got became good people. See, now I, I don't know what the fuck going on now. Sex, too much sex. Every time I turn around, I'm so sick of pussy. I don't know what the fuck to do. No, man, pussy make me sick. That pink motherfucker something else. That pink bastard, man, is a drug. Don't tell me I'm wearing the patch right now. Don't tell me.
I'm telling you like this. Man, put that in there. No, no, no. See, a grown man, grown woman get together. Say you want something. I said, I'll give you something. You bust a nut. I bust a nut. How the fuck I got to pay your rent after that goddamn shit? I ain't never seen a pussy with a meat on it. That shit fucks me up there, man. This shit is un un fucking believable, man. Pay my bill, telephone bill, light bill. I'm not paying a motherfucking thing. Now I wish I wish I would get blackmailed. Can't nobody blackmail me. See, that's why I don't fuck around. Cause I don't want no, I don't want no pussy. Can't blackmail me. I'ma tell you why. I tell my motherfucking wife. Before I let another motherfucker tell my goddamn wife. Burn, I tell your wife, motherfucker. I tell myself, I'll go home. Wake up. What's wrong? Wake up, just listen. Keep your hands so I can see them. Oh man, sex is a bitch, man. Sex, sex is so goddamn funny, man. We all, we all trip out on it. But the funny thing about sex, man, see, I'm a comedian. You know, I be laughing. I ain't laughing at you. I'm laughing at shit you be saying. You know, ooh, ooh, goddamn it. I said, I ain't never heard this motherfucker talk like this. This motherfucker Christian. Give me that dick in the name of the Lord. Give me that dick. I said, her daddy can hear her now. I went with a woman, man, a long time ago. See, you know, when, when you do shit fucked up, man, you don't care back in the day. Now you mature now. But I had, I had this woman, man, she, she, she wasn't that attractive, you know. But she was good people. She was good people. She, she had a cracked tooth, you know, her tooth. But, no, she was good people, though. She was good people. Well, two for the crack at a 45 degree angle, you know. She was good people, though. She was good people. And, you know, when, when, when she, was, she, was giving me, she was giving me some mouth to mouth, you know what I mean? And see, back then, you don't give a fuck where you get it from long as you get it. And she was, you know, and shit, with me and we so goddamn stupid, shit be hurting. But we still won't say shit. Still try to take it like we strong. She was cutting me. She was tearing it up. She was, she was snoring it, you know. And I'm sitting there trying to take it, you know. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it, I couldn't handle it. I said, you're cutting it, you're cutting it. <laughs> she was good people, she was good people. Oh, set, oh, we all do some crazy shit now. You ever, you ever pass gas while you make a love? You a goddamn liar. You are lying, some of my bitch. We all hear them pass gas making love, especially men. You ain't said shit. You ever had a woman just, just break wind when you get in from the back, she just fall, just. <laughs> you don't say nothing, you just keep on pumping, just keep on. <laughs> you don't say nothing, you don't say nothing. When you get in your car, you talk about ass like a dog. Don't... See you later, Bernie. All right, you stinking ass bitch. Fought it all on my dick and shit. Oh, women, women a trip, man. Women, all of us, uh, men, we've been doing things, sex so fu fucking funny, communicating, say, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. You don't do this anymore. But all sex, they never mentioned. Women don't like to suck no dick. They don't like to suck no dick. I got a problem with that. I got a problem with that. This 2000, y'all got to come on with the program. You got to come on. Men been eating pussy for years, for years. No problem, no problem. But every time we ask y'all for head, you know, y'all get attitude. You know, why don't you come over here and do a little bit? What you want me to do? Fuck it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I do it myself, I do it myself. That's what you're gonna have to do, or let your mama do it, because I ain't doing a motherfucking thing. What my mama got to do with it? My mama had her day, she ain't got nothing to do with this shit. No one, women is funny, man. But all of us in here scared of women. I've been married 25 years, for some, my, my wife married about five, she about, she about right here. Let me see let me see you thought about it too, motherfucker. You thought about it. You know, I ain't never hit my wife. I swear to God, I ain't never hit, but I thought about it. 
You know, and if I, if I did drugs or something this one time, I have an excuse. I'll fuck my wife up, man, I'm telling you. So that son bitch, man, she know, she know I ain't going nowhere, man. When women know they got you, 25 years, she was 15, I was 16, she know I ain't going nowhere. Now she be talking all smart, so y'all clapping. So that's beautiful, ain't it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know it's beautiful. Yeah, motherfucker. That little son bitch thinks she on me, man. Be talking all smart, you know, telling me what to do. You know, yeah, I know. I know she is. But see, black women want to be your mama, your daddy, your pastor, your counselor, policeman. You know, they want to be the dickhead. We are. You uh, you know, I ain't right shit. I know they want to be your wife. They want to tell you what to do. My wife going to tell my dad. I said, babe, I'll be right back. She said, you ain't going nowhere tonight. I said, you want to see my motherfucking birth certificate? I'm growing like a son bitch. She said, well, take, she said, take your punk ass out and see what the fuck gonna happen to you. Now, for some reason, when she said that, I knew she wasn't playing. I got nervous like a motherfucker, you know. But I couldn't, I couldn't let her get the last word out there. I said, look outside, I'll be right back to the Mac. I done told you, you went out Monday, you played pool Tuesday, you went hunting th Wednesday and Thursday, you ain't going no motherfucking way tonight. I said, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I said, watch, see if I go. She, yeah, yeah, I went. Shit, I mean, you don't tell me where the fuck I went. I'll bust your head to the white meat. You don't tell me where the fuck I went. Matter of fact, you look just like her motherfucking ass. Come close and see once you, once you leave, make the motherfucker bleed. Goddamn, I'm sick of your ass too. You look just goddamn like her. Yeah, I went. I came back early. I went though, I came back early. Stay out my goddamn business. What you look at your tongue at me for like that? What, what, what you looking at your tongue at me like that? You know you ain't gonna suck no dick. You ain't, you ain't gonna suck, don't fuck with me. What you doing all that for? Huh? It's 2000. You suck dick. You do. I'm gonna check your ass out. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check you out. When I get through, when I, when I, you, you, you be right there on the side, right over there. With your mouth open. Be right there. Come right in the motherfucker, just come. I'm going to put some in your mouth. I'm going to choke the shit out your head. You'll be comfortable for two weeks, fuck with me. <coughs> that motherfucker try to kill me. You fucking with a man here, baby. If I let you see it, it's going to scare the shit out of you. If I let you, if I, if I unzipped it and just and that you took a peek, you go blind. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, girl. Man, I love my wife, though. Man, I love my wife. Man, I can't hurt her. Man. I can't hurt her. I'm fucking around with you. See, you, you, you fucking around my chain of thought. I you don't let nobody fuck with my chain of thought. You know that that's your that's your day. See, white boy, white boy. Let me tell you something. You with a sister. Oh, don't, wait a minute. Don't tell me what the fuck to do. God damn it. You like who? You like women. Oh, you're a fire starter. You start a fire. Stangin' ass. Tell me I like women. What the fuck you like? You can't do shit. But kiss it. Can't do shit. Women need dick. <laughs> Women need a hammer. Women gotta have the motherfucking hammer. Don't tell me you can't. You can't buy one. Motherfucker, get the fuck around, get a flow burn between your goddamn fucking no dead dog, nigga. You a lesbian for real, ain't you? Damn. If I was your dad, I'll beat your ass. I'll whip your ass to death. A lesbian. Nice looking woman. 23, 24 years old. 
26 years old, college degree, and a cocksucker. Girl coming to an end and got an education in sucking cock. I got my master. Hey, this is my people though. You know, each his own. I think it's a beautiful thing for you to even play like that. I think it's great. But I'm sitting up there, man, I'm thinking about you, man. I'm thinking about Thinking about you. No, 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 no. I'm thinking about it, man. Because, you know, I, I went to a funeral. I don't like funerals, man. You know, funerals full of shit. Especially black funerals. Black funerals, you know, white folks, I admire y'all, man. When the cat died one day, next day y'all bury that motherfucker. Because he ain't no good till he calls your money. Ain't no need him sticking around. Get rid of that motherfucker. He died last night. He buried them all. Fuck him. Black folks, my people, some bitch died, man. We got four days to fuck with him. We got visitation, the wake, the funeral, and the burial. And somebody explain the motherfucking wake to me, because I never did understand that shit. Well, you just sit there in a fucking chair, in front of the coffin, watching this son bitch. And every now and then, this motherfucker look like he breathing. This motherfucker breathing. White funerals, man, be nice. The light be on, the coffin be in the center. They come sing a song. The Lord is good. He's so mercy that I can not see. They close the coffin, wheel that motherfucker out. Black funeral. Somebody gotta come sing a song, old voodoo ass song. Precious Lord. Old and ancient ass song. And they gotta look at the deceased family sitting in the front row. Cause they trying to make you cry on purpose. Just Lord, take my hand. <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> Leave me on. <laughs> I said, oh, that man. Stand. Ah. 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 looking dead at you. That's when I jumped up. What the fuck you looking at me singing like that? Could you make me feel like I'm next? Don't look at me. Look around. Look over that single fuck over there. And black folks, I don't know what it is. We got that old Southern mentality where we always want to tell you how somebody died. You ever know what I'm saying? They'll tell you that same story over, fucking over, over again. How he died? Lord, it was thunder and lightning. And I was upstairs. I was rolling my hair. And I just heard a noise. And I said, what the fuck is that? And I walked downstairs and I saw him laying against the refrigerator. I said, oh, Lord, he did. I was so nervous, I called 11 9. I swear I ain't gonna never forget. It was raining so hard I couldn't hear myself think because I was rolling my hair and I just heard a bump. And I said, somebody downstairs. And I got my pistol because I thought somebody broke in. When I walked down there, I saw some legs I said, is that Willie? And I looked around there, he was laying over there, he was dead. Lord scared me half to death. I couldn't even finish rolling my hair. I just got through doing the front of my hair, and I just heard a bump. And I said, Willie? Willie? 
but he didn't say nothing. So I walked down there. I didn't see nothing at first because it was dark. It was thunder and lightning. And I looked and I saw him hunched over. I said, that motherfucker dead. Boy, it hurt me. It's been a week since he died, boy. But I tell you, I, will, I never will forget that day. It was two of the night. It was raining. And I was rolling my hair in the front. And it felt like somebody fell. And I said, somebody fell. I didn't go down right away because I thought he was all right. When I walked down there, I saw his ass sticking out from the refrigerator. I said, he hurt. He just laying there. But I rolled that motherfucker over. He was dead. I called the ambulance, they came and get him. I never forget. I didn't even finish rolling the back of my hair. So I was rolling, I just got this side right here. And it felt like somebody lightning just hit the gun. And I went down there, bitch, shut the fuck up telling that goddamn story. They be at the funeral telling that fucked up ass story. You be sitting in the chair, you hear somebody all the way down there. I was rolling my hair. And I heard a noise. Shut the fuck up. Take your ass to the hospital. I'm not bullshit. We funny people. I was over my brother's house last night. Before I left here, I was over my brother's house. And I got, you know, nephew like all of us. You know, they, they, they you know, they, I don't know what they on. They own some other shit, right? So I was sitting up there, I'm talking to my brother, we playing pool. And my nephew came in and he said, uh, uh, you pretty smart. I said, well, you know, I'm all right. You know, I'm all right. He said, what's the difference between a hypothetical question and a realistic question? It kind of caught me off guard, you know? Damn, hypothetical, realistic. I said, they basically mean the same, but sometimes they might be different. Caught me off guard, caught me off guard. I said, for example, man, I said, run upstairs and ask your mama, will she make love to the next door neighbor for $50,000? He went upstairs, took a little while, came back. He said, uh, mama said she'd make love to the next door neighbor, neighborhood in the next block for $50,000. I said, I'll be damned. I said, well, do me a favor, go, go, go upstairs and ask your sister, would she make love to the mailman for $250,000? He ran upstairs, tried it on back. He said, uh. So said she'd make love to the mailman, the milkman, and any other man for $50,000. I looked at my brother. Brother looked at me and said, sit down, son. I said, I'm going to tell you something. Hypothetically speaking, you should have $100,000. I said, but realistically speaking, son, you live with two hoes. <laughs> Good night.